Hello everybody, this is Mike with VM Reviews and today I'm going to review uh, the PCD Chaser by Virgin Mobile. Uh, if you guys don't know or haven't heard of this phone, it's not a very high-end phone. Uh, this phone came out about last summer, uh, specifically July 26th, uh, 2012, and it was probably their low end, the lowest of their low end, uh, their Android phone lineup besides the uh, the Virgin Mobile Venture, which has a keyboard, and this is the same manufacturer uh, for that. Uh, a little about this phone as you can see it has a green proximity light physical features include four uh, physical buttons you got the search back uh, forgot what this button does and the home and I think this is the I forgot what button that does anyway all right let, let's see what else uh, on the side you got your, your volume rockers on the bottom your micro USB charging port with the uh, with the microphone and on the right side uh, you have a section for your micro SD card and build wise it's a it feels pretty good in the hand oh yeah and in the back three megapixel camera uh, with no flash no LED flash so keep that in mind uh, okay well, let's see about this phone okay this phone comes stock with Android 2.3 and let me see if I can get a better shot of the screen there and as you can see there it's got a proximity sensor I don't know why there you go see the, the proximity sensor is up here but when I turn the screen on for whatever reason the camera shows this little blinking light here I have no clue what that is it doesn't show it, it doesn't even show like off camera so and as you can see there it's got a proximity sensor I already have an app running kick my kick messenger so uh, if you guys are interested in this phone kick me at VM reviews and that's just a, a sample you know I've gotten a few messages from a few users just saying like hey what's up that's me messaging myself so okay uh, this phone has Android 2.3 installed uh, so uh, if you're looking for the newest version of Android uh, you probably might want to go with something a little like the Kyocera event uh, but as you can see there, Android 2.3.5. Uh, I tried running a system update, uh, and it just gives me. Let's see. It says your system is up to date. Let's see if I can install something, but nope, there's nothing to install. So let's go back here, and we'll, and a little key feature I don't like about this phone is these buttons. They're supposed to light up, and I don't know why they're not lighting up exactly. Uh, I tried checking the display settings and they just don't seem to work when I want them to. They turn when I they turn on when I turn the screen off, surprisingly. So, or do, or when I'm using a certain app. But this phone has a 3.2 inch touch screen, so not a very big screen to work with, especially if you're gonna if you have you know a set of larger hands. Uh, phone isn't too laggy for. Uh, let's see. For it's got an 800, 800 megahertz single core processor, and it's got 512 megabytes of RAM, and you can put up to 32 gigabytes of external memory. Uh, internal memory. This phone only has maybe about 150 megabytes, so uh, you need to be cautious about that. That um, you won't be able to install a bulk load of apps, especially with games, and there are certain games that you can't even play on here like I tried installing Temple Run 2 on here and it wouldn't even install it's not compatible with this phone apparently well, let's see what else I don't have a lot of stuff set up um, let's see what app. I've installed a few apps I installed Angry Birds, Instagram, Twitter I mean it's got your basic it's got your basic apps. I mean, it has the activate feature there, which I haven't activated the phone. It's got a basic stock browser. It does not come. And you, does not come with Chrome, and you cannot install Google Chrome. It's got an app for the camcorder and the camera, uh, email, your clock, your contacts, Gmail, gallery, Instagram, messaging, 
uh, Google Messenger Plus, Sprint ID, which I'm not a huge fan of, and I hate Sprint ID, so keep that in mind. Like, I'm not a fan of that. Your phone up here. I actually installed little toggles for the drop down menu bar there. Um, that's not, does not come with the phone. Uh, if you're interested in getting a little shortcut, shortcut bar like that, then you need to install uh, an, a widget called notification toggle and you can set it up and fix it up the way you want that's why I have the battery percentage up up there on top so you know, keep that in mind that that, that doesn't come st uh, pre-installed with the phone I installed that uh, you know it comes with your basic Google you know play music it comes with YouTube also uh, voice recorder I installed quadrant standard which I'll be running a benchmark on the next video and I'll show you about some game, some gameplay, and uh, I guess benchmark scores with Quadrant Standard, and I guess uh, I'll I'll give you a little uh, sneak peek of what you can get with the camera and the camera app. Now let's go back home here, and it's not. I mean, this phone isn't. It's not a high-end phone. It's it's probably the bottom of the list when it comes to Android phones. Um, let's take a look. I want to show you guys the battery really quick. Let me see if I can get this pop the back open. I'm kind of in a hurry. I have to go to work here, so let's see if I can pop that open. Well, I should be able to pop it open. <sighs> Giving you problems already. Oh, okay, no wonder I'm doing it the wrong way. Okay. Okay, this phone is made by PCD uh, and I think they collaborate with ZT so you have uh, you like when you try looking this phone up on the internet uh, it, you have it's under ZTE not PCD for whatever reason but uh, it's got a 1450, 1450 milliamp battery which uh, by default should be a decent battery size for a phone like this because it runs off Sprint's 3G network uh, but to be honest, uh, I've had this phone for you day for a few days already, and, uh, and without even using it, I'll I will charge it all night and leave it at 100%. And when I when I unplug it and go to work and leave the phone as is, uh, without any use, I, I come home and the battery is already at lost about 30 or 40 percent of its battery life without even using it. So you keep that in mind that if you're gonna purchase this phone, I mean. It's not gonna have great battery life, uh, especially if you're using it consistently with like Facebook and Twitter and all that. Um, let's see what else? Facebook and Twitter. I didn't download Facebook, but I'm sure that app's probably a little somewhat laggy. Oh, let's see. This phone's got GPS. It's got Google Maps. Uh, all the basics. The you could want with an Android phone. I mean, if you're going to purchase this phone, I mean, don't expect high screen resolution either. You can actually, let me see if I can zoom in on this. You can actually kind of see a little bit of the pixels on there. And I'm not a fan of uh, uh, the stock launcher there. And I downloaded uh, ADW launcher, but for whatever reason, I can't set it to how I want it there. So as you can see, like this is the ADW launcher. I wanna wanna add like apps, but for whatever reason, I can't figure out how to set it as my main launcher. And I know there's a way to do it, but uh, and there are other options out there for launchers. If you guys don't know what a launcher is, it's a stock user interface, and uh, it's basically like Samsung's TouchWiz and HTC Sense. Uh, and for whatever, like for whatever reason, I'm not able to change it on this phone. I, I'm pretty sure it's because I don't have it activated yet. But uh, once I do, I probably I would probably be able to change it. But you can't change the buttons down here. You can only have call and ID and whatever apps you want. You would just have to kind of put them on the home screen. And this phone doesn't really come pre-installed with a bunch of widgets. Let's take a look. I mean, it comes with your basic widgets like your analog clock, calendar you know music news and weather the play store power control and YouTube so I mean don't expect a lot of widgets out of the box here 
this is Virgin's bottom of the bottom. I bought this at Best Buy for $49.99, and I do plan to return it because I don't think I'm going to get any good resale value on this. Uh, so, you know, take that with a grain of salt and keep that in mind that, you know, if, uh, if you go through phones, you know, and you always drop and break them and you just use them for texting and, you know, texting and, you know, just, I don't know, Facebook, you know, this is probably not too bad of a phone to have. Uh, so, you know, keep that in mind. And uh, I think I'm going to end this video right here, but uh, keep an eye out for part two video I'm gonna post up in a few days and I'm gonna show you some benchmarks I'm gonna show you I'm gonna try getting a few more one or two more games on here besides Angry Birds and uh, just keep an eye out and thanks for watching and please subscribe